you're not gonna be calling me Tonto the Moose Tracker or anything, but this is tracks right here. It's gonna take a little time while you're waiting like a factory line. I'll ride across the park, backseat on the 79. Wasted days, you come to pass. Yeah, I must have a little Native American in me, I'm not sure, I must. I know. If you're ever lost, don't know where you are, don't know where you're going, trust your sense of direction. I saw two people the whole time, four hours, and that was right at the beginning of the, right when I was on the path, didn't see a soul since. You gotta use your uh, knowledge when you're backcountry hiking like me. When you get off the path and you just start wandering through the forest, you gotta take what you know, you gotta take the knowledge that you have. There's two things I noticed. One, that the road was long and straight, like so. And two, the helicopters fly on the path with the road. As you can see, he's flying directly over the road. So I use that. When I was back country, I had no idea where I was. I heard the helicopters. I saw how far away they were. And I started going in the direction of the path that they were flying. And then when I saw them go by again, I knew I was getting close. And that's how you use your knowledge. Yeah. So if I said four hours, I definitely meant to say six hours because it's 5.30 right now. I left at 11.30. The sun's probably set in about 30 minutes. It was a good six hour hike. I had fun. Hiked down to the edge. Ate awesome lunch on the edge of the Grand Canyon. Nobody was around. And now I've made it safely back my trusty Caprice Classic. So now, back to the road. Good day. I must say. A good day. This is my fourth encounter with a cop. If you can see the lights behind me. He says uh, he knows people like me, whatever that means. <laughs> uh, this is going to be good.